Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be crocheting um, a zebra amigurumi. I am getting this pattern from craftpassion.com. I found it on Pinterest. I found a zebra that I liked and I'm going to be doing it. So it's called zebra amigurumi crochet pattern and in the notes she calls it um, ZZ the zebra and it is so cute. I have followed a pattern by her before and I really like how it turned out. I'll show you it right now because I literally just finished it like 20 minutes ago and I just had a photo shoot for it. Um, it's this hippo. I didn't follow it exactly to pattern, um, but this is what it kind of turned out like. And I think it's really cute. It's turned out really big and that's what I really liked about it. I did not add teeth and I, um, did the head a little bit differently than how she did it and I just because I liked this way better um, nothing against what she did if it is a she um, but I like this better I've got the cute little things there um, and a little feet and a little toe it turned out to be about 14 inches which I think um, she she said it was supposed to be 11 inches which I think it is from head to butt, so when it's sitting, um, but standing, which it doesn't really stand by itself, but um, I don't think that matters that much. I didn't want to make two hippos because um, boring. So I got a pink hippo. My plan for the zebra is to use these colors, which my Instagram followers picked. Um, I had uh, I made a poll on my Instagram, um, and these are the colors that won. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Follow me on Instagram if you want to make cho more choices for me because I do not make choices. Um, I'm terrible decision maker. So I ask my Instagram followers a lot for um, suggestions. Let's get started. So I just thought I should let you know what I'm doing. Um, it, so zebras are typically black and white, but I'm doing a more fun color combination um, just because it's more fun. She wanted like more fun, not basic things. So zebra, first of all, is not basic. And then I'm amping it up just a little bit more by making it purple because I think it really goes good with the pink. But anyways, so I think the purples go really good with the pink. This is going to be my black, the dark um, purple, and then the light purple is going to be the white. The pattern is basically just doing stripes. Um, so it'll be like, oh, two rows of black, two rows of white. So I'm just going to be alternating between these as my black and my white. I'm obviously not going to be sharing you the pattern if you want the pattern click the link down below, support her, or him, them, whatever. Uh, before I start, I should probably let you know what tools I'm using. <laughs> right? That would be smart. So basically, the yarn is both Big Twists yarn from Joann's because it's superior. It's acrylic yarn, 100% acrylic, just because I love acrylic yarn for my stuffies i think it turns out super cute and all that stuff i'm also using a four millimeter crochet hook and i think this is my clover more hook there's gonna be a lot of color changes um i haven't decided if i'm going to cut off after each color change or just crochet around like drop it and then pick it back up because it'll be amigurumi so it can hide it on the inside. I haven't decided yet but I will let you know. This is what it looks like so far. That's the inside. This is what it looks like so far. Um, this is the butt. 
So it started with a bunch of rounds of that, and so now I'm switching off every other round, um, being like that. And um, the pattern goes so it's um, more ovally. Um, obviously, it's, that's an oval, not a circle. I think I'm just going to um, leave my colors connected and just carry up. Um, depending on how tangled it gets, we will see. Okay, hi guys. I am back and it's been a minute. Ignore the mess going on. I'm currently like working on like 30 different things. So things are a bit chaotic, but I've got a very good chunk of it done. I'm really liking how this is turning out. These stripes are gonna be so cute. And then so like the stitches are kind of like ziggy so like that's where like the zebra-ness comes in I guess. I will check in with you later when I get more of the body hey guys, It is very late it's almost 10 o'clock um but I am I've been doing things and I've been working on the things so I'm finally getting ready to start back in crocheting um this I don't I don't really think I'm gonna get that much done tonight. I'll probably be up for, I don't know, maybe like another 30 minutes to an hour just crocheting, um, depending if I watch another episode of this podcast that I'm really into. Um, but I don't know. I kind of just want to chill and vibe, but I'm about to get going. And yeah, I just thought I'd update you. So it's the next day, and it is Tuesday. Um, it's about four o'clock now. I've finished the body. That's what it looks like. It's like an egg. It's great. And now I've got to start on the head. Thursday okay um, I did not film updates yesterday because something really really upsetting happened I ran out of stuffing and <laughs> so I had to go get more I couldn't keep working on this project which is kind of frustrating because the goal is to have this video like to have it finished and done by tonight so I could edit all day tomorrow and post it tomorrow which is Friday I ran a sewing right as I finished the head yesterday morning. This is the head. It's beautiful. The nose kind of like pinches in down here, which is cute. And so I've got the head, the body, and then two ears. So now I've got to make arms and legs. finally got the foot done and now I just need to um, do the leg part which shouldn't take that long. I've been taking lots of breaks because the dog needs to go outside. Can you see him? That's him right there. That thing. That is my dog. That is a stuffed animal but that is my dog. Can you see the difference? Oh my god it moved. breaks for dinner and um, just to stretch a little bit but I've made 
both of the arms and then I think I already showed you the leg so I just need to make another leg and a tail and then sew it all together hey guys ignore how I look I know I look terrible it is currently 1 21 a.m why do I do this to myself but I finished the leg I know I probably I have two legs now. It's so late and so cute. I love it. Okay, guys. So it's been a minute. It's about almost four o'clock the next day. It's Friday. I am done. I did not record a whole lot last night after I moved to the bed because I I don't think I recorded at all to be honest. Um, I finished all the parts um, last night and I started sewing it together but then like I fell asleep because it was 4 a.m. and things were going ridiculously slow at this point so yeah and so I woke up today at like 11 and I finished him oh my gosh he turned out so cute like oh my god the hair is adorable that actually, you know what, actually, that doesn't look good, hold on. Anyways, this is him, he's so cute, he's got a little straggler there, I think that's adorable. But, he, I ended up changing the tail a little bit for him. I made it a little bit curly, and then I made him have frill at the end just because that makes more sense to me in my head um and that's just the that's just how I like to do it I like having like a, just a slight curl and it was like a lot easier to do th this way than the way that she had it just because I don't like to um crochet that small and around and it's just not something I like to do but this is the back of his head I think he looks so so good like oh my gosh and he's so squishy and so soft and i love him your best friends i took pictures they're so cute and they're gonna go to their home tomorrow so that's it thank you so much for watching today's video and make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more of my content and more of my little animals all of my social medias will be linked down below see you next time